And welcome, everybody here in Twitch Chats and everybody on YouTube for some Gruel Aggro. That's right, I haven't played much Gruel Aggro at all at this format with Questing Beast, Ember Cleave. I've played a little bit, but, but not too much. You know, we played Gruel Adventures earlier um, and stuff, and so I wanted to give that give this deck a try. You know, it's 5-0 Friday, so we're playing lists from Magic Online leagues that went 5-0 uh, in, in the leagues to get their list published. There weren't really too many spicy ones this week, um, so I thought this was a good time to uh, give this old-fashioned deck a try. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the Gruel Adventures, but I, I think I, I think I'll like this one more. You know, I'm more excited to play this one. Um, you know, lots of haste in here and lots of damage that can be uh, that we can get here. This is the kind of deck that just really helps to curve out. You know, and the you know, the games that you have Pelt Collector are a lot better than games you don't have Pelt Collector. And, you know, some, you know, if you can draw, like, your Questing Beast, Hell Kites, and Ember Cleaves at the top end, you're going to be winning. And if you don't, you're not kind of thing, and you're just kind of relying on your draw steps. Four Once Upon a Time, though, is pretty big at helping you get those cards. Um, that's definitely really important. It also can help out uh, your mana. As you can tell, we're just playing Forests and Mountains because we don't want any tap lands at all. So none of these lands will ever enter untapped. Or, sorry, they'll never enter tapped. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, but yeah, I'm just playing the, the, the 75 that, that uh, you know, got a 5-0 list here. Um, I don't really like red cap melee that much. Because there's, there's just not very many red decks around. Um, so I, I'm not in love with this card in the sideboard. But we'll probably play against some red now and it will be great and and everything. But yeah, let's go ahead and give this a try. Uh, Cinder, Cinder Vines was um, was a, a, a card that um, people were talking about. Like, yeah, I like Cinder Vines in this kind of deck. I could see playing Cinder Vines instead of Red Cap Melees. Um, I think that could be a card that, that this deck could be using too. And I wouldn't mind having a Planeswalker or two, in the, if not in the main, in the sideboard for just a an ang different angle attack if people were just bringing lots of creature removal. But I don't know. Let's, let's play some games. So we're going to be playing uh, five matches over in ranked over in mythic with the deck giving it a good test and we'll see how it does so i don't i don't really know what an ssd is you're talking about like like the little small ssd card and if so like that would would that go in the computer somewhere and and help somehow like, you're talking about just, like, the really small SSD card that, like, this is just a memory chip? Okay, it's a hard drive variant. So then, so you say it's, so it's connect, so I hook it up with a USB, so I would, I would get this solid, you know, so if you're watching on YouTube, they're talking about, like, something I could do to maybe help out any lag problem. So I would get that, I would hook it up with a USB, and then, um, do you like having once upon a time, but this is still a five, a five, a six. You know, that thing we had to be attacking. I really thought it kept my hand there for a minute. I was like, I, I did click, click Mulligan, right? No, I don't, Colts. Okay, so if you keep your game and recording software on the SSD, they would run smoother. Okay. So this hand is good. Uh, I don't really know what to put back, though. Like, everything's good. Like, I want to go Pelt Collector into Paradise Druid and Bone Crusher Giant. Um, I guess that means I have to put back Colossus, but Colossus is pretty nice, too. I could 
Yeah, I guess we just put this back. I don't think we put back the third land. And we could put back Bone Crusher Giant. Or even the Paradise Druid, I guess. But this is probably the way to go. Y'all think I should have put back the land? I'm just gone with the two. <clears throat> All right, looks like we got a mirror. Ooh, they did not play lands. I would advise playing lands. Yay, magic. Yeah, if somebody if somebody has like a, a link to an SSD that they um, really recommend me purchasing that would handle recording a you know recording this in 1080p and everything, feel free to link it. So mirror match. We'll get some beasts in here. Instead of harpooners. And I'll take out a collision colossus. Oh, we want these Domri's ambushes for sure though. I mean, Red Cap Melee doesn't kill, you know, Pelt Collector, Questing Beast. Doesn't doesn't kill everything. So want to cast this after we draw. So now we know we have three lands. Um, I could grab the fourth land immediately, but I think I want to just get another Love Struck Beast. Saving those links, I'll have to, I'll just take a look at that that stuff. Okay, no blocks. I'm 
glad we didn't grab the fourth land. Our two draw stats have been the fourth land, fifth land, so we're good there. I mean, Domri's ambush. Um, it's a good card. Like I don't maybe like feels bad for us to to play against or for them to use. No, it's a good card. So it's got to be Collision Colossus. Yeah, Nocturne. Yep. I do not use any bad language on stream. Really, at all, really. So I know that may not seem like the best trade for me. But with these 1-1s one leaving at any time. And then I wouldn't be able to attack with those things anymore. So if they have Colossus, I go down to one. If they have Ember Cleave, I die. So it was the Colossus that we called earlier. Oh, right, but that thing doesn't trade with Colossus. Oh, whoops. I should have... Maybe I should have blocked the Questing Beast. I... I didn't... Block with Questing Beast because I, I wanted to trade with the Love Struck because the Questing Beast could still attack. I don't know what what kind of motherboard I have here. I have to make sure I or like try not to die to a haste creature. Obviously a hell kite kills me, but we're gonna leave the goblin back. All right, we got there. All right, got the win in the mirror. Okay, we're 1 0. Good win for our first one. Yeah, the Honest Cruel Mirror. No, no tricks, no shenanigans. Just hope you have a good curve. As my opponent tried a couple little tricks there with the Ambush and the Colossus.
Oh no, yeah, Leyline of the Void does not stop adventures whatsoever. So yeah, those does not stop them. I kind of feel like this is like teamer reclamation. And like this is gonna be grow spiral. Yep. And so against teamer reclamation, I wanna get more pressure out there, like Bone Crusher Giant. So that's what we're doing. All right, just gonna play another Bone Crusher Giant. That's the plan. So they want to target these Bone Crusher Giants. They're taking two. And we'll see if we draw the land this time to start playing Questing Beasts. Hmm. I probably should not play Questing Beasts because they could have Flame Sweep plus Expansion to copy Flame Sweep. So honestly, and that would take out the Questing Beasts too. So honestly, maybe I shouldn't play Questing Beasts here. So I feel like they're going to have that to, to stay alive here. Yep. I've, <laughs> I've played a little bit of magic in my day. <laughs> it's all Todd Call in the future like Tony Robo. Oh, please don't draw ex expansion explosion. Looks like explosion. They only made one red mana, though. Pretty sure they need to make another red mana. Yeah, they're definitely trying to cast Explosion, but they only made one red mana. Yeah, it could have been Electro Dominance. Not bad. Those are those are two cards that would have answered my hell kites, so I'm happy to trade there. Um they have actually it was just uh counting ties the other day. I have eighty six ties. 
All right, so it looks like they got lethal. Top 22 cards, three explosions and three reclamation. Their two best cards. And they definitely need the flame sweep plus explosion just to even expansion just to stay alive. But yeah, they just found all their reclamations and explosions, unfortunately. So yeah, this this would be a good time to have Cinder Vines. As we've talked about Cinder Vines. For this deck. But all we got are these Thrashing Brontodons. We saw them play tons and tons of counter magic, which is why I'm going to bring in these Veil Summers also, but the Veil Summers may not really be that good. It does help protect against Brazen Borrower, and I guess I guess Expansion Explosion is blue also, so it would stop Expansion Explosion. Oh, yeah, I kind of just had Shifting Ceratops over there at the end and just kind of didn't notice that card. It didn't really register, but yeah, I guess I should have Shifting Ceratops in... For this matchup as well. I cut Embercleaves and Colossus. Um, just want to have like the most threats I can. I don't want them to just be able to like kill a couple of threats and then I'm just sitting there with Embercleaves and Colossus and nothing to do with them. You missed it. Stay hydrated, bot. Yeah, I don't know what happened to stay stay hydrated, bot. But it's not around it anymore. I never added it, but it was there for months, but I never got rid of it, but now it's gone. So I, don't, I don't know what happened. Yeah, that that's that flame sweep plus expansion. Oh yeah, they like they were they were definitely gonna be losing. They didn't have that. That was a critical turn. Why would they want to shock there? So they have red mana up now. They didn't before, but they passed right away. Is it Chemister's Insight? Could be Bone Crusher Giant plus Grow Spiral, but it's Bone Crusher Giant, they probably just killed the Paradise Druid to begin with. I'll save Brontodon. We'll cast Goblin and then Once Upon a Time. I 
Well, it's a good once upon a time getting four lands down at the bottom. So I can only assume that. Never mind. Not 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 can only assume. They didn't do what I thought they were gonna do. So yeah, I guess it's just sideboard bringing in nightpack ambushers to be a good blocker against aggro there. Okay, so Flame Sweep, pretty rough. Getting that three for one. Yeah, this Night Pack Ambush is going to be tough to deal with, for sure. Wasn't really a card I was expecting too much. Hopefully this works. Do know the bottom four cards, of course, are all basic lands. So we should hopefully just continue to draw spells. But looking good for my opponent here. Second night pack ambusher is probably just game. Great hands for the opponent both these times. You know, turn three ambusher there. Don't really have too much to stop this. Alright, one and one. GG's. Yeah, we haven't seen a lot more Reclamation recently. Played against it a few times today. That was my first time I've seen Ambusher as a sideboard threat there. It's a good card against aggro. According to MTG Goldfish, it's the fourth um, the fourth most popular deck in standard right now, Team of Reclamation. We're supposed to keep a five lander and just hope we draw threats. Mulligan on arena never works. Just never works. You never get keepable six card hands. Ugh. All right, we'll keep the one lander because we got once upon a time to basically be a two lander. 
And we'll try to go Pell Collector, Harpooner, and then break some spells. Fortunately, we're on the draw, so we don't get to get rid of this Gilded Goose before an Oko. Okay, no Oko, but still Wolf next turn. Still going to try to get rid of the Goose. I think that's better for us than playing Spellbreaker. Unfortunately, the wolf will kill the pelt collector here and not have to use food because of the Paradise Druid. So now how do we get through Wicked Wolf? That's the next question. Oh, there's another one. Well, that's great. Can we get this card back? Aristocrats are good. Ragdos Aristocrats has been good for a while. A Ragdos sacrifice. Seek shelter in my stewardship. The land fights for us. Man, our opponents are just crushing us here last few games. Turn three, Wicked Wolf. Turn four, Wicked Wolf. Turn five, Nissa. How does an aggro deck beat that? Behold, nature's true power. I don't know. We're we're o two against reclamation today. I don't really say it's. You know, somebody said reclamation's pretty bad. I mean, it's been putting up good results. So we're we're winless against it today. So it's wouldn't really be right for me to say that it's a bad deck if we can't beat it. Hey, what's up, Rex? Hope you've had a good one. All right, let's see. 
So I'm going to take out one Boat Crusher Giant, one Zertog Goblin, and something to get this third Domer's Ambush in here. I don't know what that something is. I guess a Collision Colossus? No, I'm just going to take out another Bone Crusher Giant. Yeah, who, who knows that... Yeah, who knew that... Goblin Chain Whirler... You know, people used to complain about that card, but that was just holding us back from these Hexproof Paradise Druids. Dominating. Bad draw. I'll shear the wool from your eyes, and I think a little merriment is in order. Fine. Remain blind. Alright, so we need a green... Need a green source. Yay, no Wicked Wolf. No green source either. But we got Ember Cleave. Nah, boo. I got a, a Wicked Wolf. Ooh, green mana. <clears throat> Good. All right, down to one. Just got to push through one damage. Together, we will prevail. The land Can we push open. through one damage? I think so. I'll be surprised if the answer is no. Okay, going to game three. I may need to play Shock on the play. Something to kill Goose on the play before they play turn two Oko. Okay. I'm going to trim some goblins and, yeah, play a shock. Azkariah, thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that support there. I appreciate that. 
No, the wolf would not have. No, the the umber cleave trampled. So if the um, so no, they wouldn't could not eat all of the the damage from the umber cleaved creature. Ooh, not turn one goose for once. King, wild and soft. It's not poison. Trust me. I'll think up a fun fate for you. Wallow in your deceit. Good. No wicked wolf. So that's good. No wicked wolf. Now I wish I would have taken the second Hellkite if I would have known that I was going to just keep hitting land drops. I will aid you. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Hmm. Play GY. Watch 99% of the time on YouTube, and I absolutely love the content. Keep it up. Well, thank you so much there, Play. You're awesome. I appreciate that. I must go. All right, we're fighting through. Domri's ambush has been amazing. Unfortunately, I'm out of Domri's ambushes now. I protect that which cannot protect itself. Harness the elements. Hmm. I mean, I guess we just attack Nissa. Why is Nissa just going to keep on making more and more threats? And I have to attack with everything, so they can just they can just not block and get more damage on me now. Last card's always crisis. I get to make a five-five crisis with drawing that untapped land. Blech.
sacrificed Hellkite for seven damage. I just have double Gilded Goose just to gain it all back. GG's. Yeah, Cleave's in the deck. That's what I was going for. So the so there's one choice that you know it's just all hindsight, but it turned out like one choice that I really regret is the once upon a time I cast on turn two I could have either grabbed um, my I could have grabbed my fourth land or grabbed a second Hellkite. I had three lands at the time in a Paradise Druid, so I didn't have enough mana to even cast Hellkite, and I had one Hellkite in hand. But you know we drew more lands. And I wish we had that other Hellkite. But at the time, you know, I only had the... I only had, I had three lands and a Paradise Druid. And so if something happened to the Paradise Druid, I wasn't going to be that close. Oh, well. I... I of course would have loved to have the the Hellkite on a like you know with a counter, but we just have to kill Nissa. I wanted to get it the Hellkite with a counter on it. I could have. I guess the play that the play that I needed to make was the the very last turn that I played uh, Domri's ambush. I you know I. I had my 2-1 um, Pell Collector that I turned into a 3-2 to kill their blocker, and then I you know, dealt forward to the first Nyssa, and, and Bone Crusher Giant did it. I needed to play Hellkite and then use my two Pell Collectors for mana, Hellkite with haste, to ambush, put the counter on the Hellkite, do 5 damage to the Nyssa, and then attack the Nyssa there, and then leave... Basically, let them keep that 3-3, three, three, but then I have the Hellkite in play with um, with the counter on it where I can be activating it after that. And then like the next Nissa would not have mattered because my, my Hellkite would have been able to attack it and deal damage and stuff. So That was a play I wish I would have made. I'm going to lead with the Harpooner instead of the Questing Beast. It allows me to attack with Paradise Druid, and it allows me to get this um, Pell Collector to be a 4-4 next turn. That's also true. Yeah, I could have... I, uh, I mean, I want to get rid of this thing. I think we'll give it Death Touch and Life Link. It's fine. So now they're not going to be able to Paragon my Questing Beast. Oh, I shouldn't attack with the Pell Collector because yeah, they just they just triple block here. But then I forgot about the Venerable Knight Trigger. I did that too fast. Now they get to make the Black Lance Paragon 4 power. Hmm. That's not great. You're playing an FNM in about an hour. Do I play Jeskai Fires, Demir, Tempo, or Teamer Flash? Let's say. Those are some good ones. Prob mm. Probably say Teamer Flash. It's a good turn. 
Oh, we need a Zumber Cleave. Or Collision Colossus. Zumber Cleave. GG's. Questing Beast Ember Cleave is pretty busted. All right, extra shocks. Um, I don't think I want melees. Let me just bring in these blockers. All right, not bronze it on. Would that be weird to cut Paradise Druid? This doesn't attack and block in this matchup well at all. <clears throat> yeah, Trample and Death Touch and First Strike. Pretty awesome combination there. Mm. What are the other two cards to cut? Trying to cut collision, it's it's frozen. There it goes. Dusty, seven month resub there. Thank you so much, there, Dusty. That's uh, sub number 13 on the day. Looks like I was a little bit behind. All right, good opener. We can't play this Questing Beast yet, but we're probably going to draw green mana considering we just looked at five cards or four other cards there at the bottom and none of them were green mana. <laughs> yep, QQ is doing his thing. Just the Flash 3 one. Called it. Alright, fine with that. Hey, Joker. Yeah, Demir deck, we played some real good close matches. Um, one of them, one of our losses was really close to a win. Like, my opponent needed to draw exactly Paradise Druid, and they did. 
yeah, it was a, it was a good, it was, uh, well, so, so yes, yeah, like the O3 record, it looks worse than what I think the deck kind of was, I guess, so I mean there. Or if they're going to be ember cleaving also. I hope not, because they can ember cleave before I can. Alright, two and two. One more game. Let's break this tie. One more match here. Okay, starting a new Pathfinder campaign. That's gotta be fun. I've never played any Pathfinder or uh, Dungeons and Dragons or anything like that, but I always thought that'd be fun. GG's there, Garnse. GG's. Do I have a single favorite deck of the format? Not really, honestly. Um, the three decks that I played yesterday in ranked are like my three favorite decks. Uh, the Orzhov Troll Knights, Mardu Enchantments, and Grixis Amass. Um, so those those would be the, the three that I would probably choose there. <laughs> no, you did just fine, Garnsey. You did just fine. I had... I had very good hands, and my top deck... I mean, you had that game one until I top decked the Embercleave. I mean, I just got real lucky there. Um, we'll have to kind of see, like, what happens with the BNR announcement. Because um, I don't think it's... I would be pretty surprised if it's just Oko getting banned and nothing else. Uh, I kind of feel like it's going to be, like, no bans or more than just one card kind of thing. But I could definitely see... You know, two to five cards getting banned. Um, the, but like if, if it's just Oko getting banned, I think you'll see the return of Cavalier Thorns. I think that'll be the big thing. You know, Simic is will be going bigger mana wise instead of focusing on Oko and Wicked Wolf. He'll go like Risen Reef, Cavalier Thorns. Just still go with your Nessa Crisis and you know Agent of Treachery, Mass Manipulation at the top end, that kind of stuff. That kind of deck's a little bit easier to get under. It's easier to, to get underneath Risen Reef, for example, than uh, Oko. No, it's not zero chance it's no bans. But yeah, I guess it sounds like, yeah, element, yeah, basically, yeah, Cavaliers and Elementals, all those stuff will be a lot better if there's no Oko. Sounds like y'all would not be excited about no bands. But yeah, like I said, like I, I, I could see a lot of bands happening. I don't know. Once upon a time, that, that would be a good card to be in. would be a good target. I don't think there's any chance the Calder and Familiar gets banned. Yep. 
Yeah, that's true. Probably more Great Henge without Oko. Good call there. Alright, we got a game now. They got their third land. And we got a game now. I hope they ban a lot because I need some wild cards. <laughs> he thinks Simic Soul Thai food will be tier one if they just ban Oko. I I don't know if they would call it food anymore without Oko. I mean, they'll still definitely be, you know, like, Simic Ramp. Like, Simic Midrange, but I don't, I don't think they refer to it as food anymore. I think... Wicked Wolf. Wicked Wolf gets a lot worse with no Oko. No, just no. Gonna have a short short stream tonight, so this is this is gonna be our last one here. I, I got some other uh, stuff I need to do for tonight, so yeah, we're getting a, a shorter stream tonight. We'll be back back on normal, you know, normal long stream again tomorrow and everything, but a little bit shorter of a stream today. So sorry about that. <laughs> Thanks, Kitty Dexterity. For, like if if we had a land there, I was gonna play. If we drew a land, I was gonna play Questing Beast with Colossus for the Beast as well. We did it. I'm gonna hopefully draw the land here. Also, I should have just played Beast and attacked with it and traded with their Beast. All right, Liam's have a good night. Just hard casting Embercleave. Is that the plan? Feels like that's the plan, it's hard class to Ember Cleave.
The Spellbreaker just has Hexproof anyway. I should have just put put that on there to begin with. All right, we got game one. Yeah, should have should have just done it. Not pass priority. Should have just done that first. The Hexproof creature. All right, so let's bring in these ambushes. Don't think I really want shock. Ooh, no, they're Edgewall Innkeepering. Yeah, never mind. They're Gruel Adventures. Yeah, let's get these shocks. Um, I mean, I want to play Lovestruck Beast also. Yeah, I can see that F-Doom learning the color combination names. Hmm. Basically just cutting the two drops. The other cards just all hit so hard. I guess Goblins is better than Harpooner. Well, let's go ahead and mulligan. Don't know any of the four color combinations. Yeah, the, the four color combinations just don't. Those are basically just never used. You just call them four color for all the things. I I couldn't tell you them either. Like they they just don't matter. But I guess according to this chart. Four color without white is called Glint Eye or Chaos. If you played four color without blue, it's called Dune or Dune Brood or Aggression. Uh, four color without black is called Ink Treader or Altruism. Without red, it's called Witch or Growth or Witch Maw. And then without green, it's called Yor, or Yor Tiller, or Artifice. Yeah, those are weird. Yeah, Just Guy Black. Just call him that. Hey, Dark Dubs. Yeah, sunburst is a keyword. Um, you know, like Engineered Explosives is a card that has sunburst. Sunburst is a, is a keyword that um, is about how many colors of mana you spend. Um, let's get this thing. All right, I'm hoping they don't have another 1-1 one, one for the beast. Tilt. That was my whole plan. That was my whole plan.
All right, we get to be on the play now. Time for us to be on the play. Let's see if we can get a win here. All right, good hand. Turn one, Pelt Collector. Best on the play, play. The real question is if I just want to make the Goblin a 2-2 and attack for 4 immediately, or not. That's weird. It's a weird line. Play Mountain cast once upon a time. I guess that's why. All right, well, now we're definitely going with the 3-3. Get out of the two damage range. I could just play Ember Cleave, but they have this Shield Breaker to kill Ember Cleave. I kind of want the Ember Cleave to be lethal whenever we play it. That's possible. They have to block Bone Crusher Giant. Go down to two. And I think with Embercleave we should be able to get this. We'll see. That was a good try. Okay, so finish with three and two. Another good record there. For Gruel, we did win two Gruel Mirrors. So we finished 640. Uh, we started day 159, we went 0 and 3, and then went 3 2 3 2. So was that 6 and 8? So 6 and 8's not great. That's quite a fall down from 1 159 to number 640. After going 6 and 8. That's alright, respectable. Oh yeah, my hand was incredible there on the play. Really couldn't be much better. Um, you know, if I would have had like you know, questing beast on turn four or whatever. But yeah, no, no complaints about my hand for sure. 
Oh yeah, six and seven, not six and eight, six and seven. So yeah, just one one more loss than win, and we dropped five hundred spots. Dang. Anyway, so yeah, that's Gruel Aggro. Uh, you know, good deck. If you just like to smash, like to attack, don't need about don't need to worry about too much. Um, absolutely love the ambushes in the sideboard. This card's awesome. I I still don't really like these red cap melees. Uh, it kind of feels like it's just for mono red. It's it's very narrow, and I don't think that's a very good use there. I would I would just play cinder vines. Um, I'd play a couple cinder vines instead. Uh, maybe that was weird. What happened to cinder vines? Huh. Well. Uh, yeah, but basically replace those with cinder vines. Uh, good question. Why not four ember cleave? Uh, that's a good question. It feel it kind of feels like we should maybe have some more ember cleaves. Ember cleave is just really powerful. It's it's more powerful than collision colossus, and there's three collision colossus and two ember cleave. So yeah, I think it would make more sense to have like three ember cleave, two colossus, or even just going four cleave, one colossus. Uh, could be fine also, but yeah, I'd probably want to switch around those those numbers as well. Uh, like these these decks that we're playing today, of course, these weren't ones that I put together. Um, <clears throat> so, but yeah, I think I think I'd rather prefer to have three three uh, Ember Cleave and then two Colossus. Uh, no, do not cut once upon a time whatsoever. No, once upon a time is is amazing in this deck. No, 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 no. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, do not cut once upon a time whatsoever, and never never sideboard it out basically like it helps you like it helps fix your mana because our mana is pretty rough with just playing all these basics so it helps fix there and then the deck just has so many creatures especially those top end creatures with questing beast and hellkite that are so important i uh, would make any changes for best of one um probably just that probably just put in the third ember cleave and and go to two colossus probably just that um yeah yeah probably just that maybe Maybe trim on Harpooner for Domri's Ambush. Maybe. Because usually you should see less Gilded Geese in Best of One. But you still want to, you know, you still want to be able to curve out well. Uh, can we splash blue for Oko? Um, I've definitely seen this deck of splash blue for Oko. People splash blue for Oko, Royal Scions. Royal Scions in particular, given, you know, basically being a, a Colossus. Giving these things plus two, plus zero, first strike trample, um, finishes games out very fast, and then it gives you Brazen Borrower as a good bounce spell there too. I think I just prefer the Gruel though, because I think the mana is pretty tough there with the three colors. Because um, we don't really want to play Gilded Geese in this deck. Uh, Gilded Goose, I, I don't think. But I guess you could play Gilded Goose also and, and then play those. But I think our... I think our deck already works pretty well and just this consistency that we have i think that works pretty well there so i, I just prefer it this way okay um but there we go uh because because this deck can't really afford to stumble and that's the thing is like putting making it three colors you're going to stumble sometimes and then if you stumble with this deck and get behind you're you're going to be losing gotta gotta stay ahead with this deck yeah, I think Ambush is probably good enough for the main. Yeah, Ambush is just amazing. Yeah, it was just awesome for us all the time. I definitely think that could be a main deck card for sure. And I guess the harp it's like the Harpooner slot, I guess. Or maybe maybe one less Hellkite. Um, yeah, not exactly sure where to put it, but yeah, Ambush is just awesome. Uh, no, don't want any Fable Passages with this deck. Because Fable Passage is a tap land on turns 1, 2, and 3, and this deck can't afford tap lands. Needs to curve out. Um, should I spend gems on packs to get wild cards or ranked draft sealed for a chance for more packs? Uh, if you like playing draft and sealed, I recommend doing that. Uh, yeah, I'd recommend doing those if you like doing those. Especially sealed is really, really good value with gems. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend that. But you don't get the wild cards for, you know, your specific decks. But you can, uh, build through, like, whatever set, like, the current set very quickly and keep on doing that. Keep building, like, the current set you know, the next time and so on, and you're good. Thanks, Blind. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, yeah, we played Standard without Oko. We, I have not played an Oko deck all week. I don't remember last time we did, but yeah, we haven't played one all week. 
All right, that's Gruel Loco, though. If you're watching on YouTube, or I just said Gruel Loco, Gruel Agro, though. If you're watching on YouTube, hit that like button, uh, leave some comments. I appreciate both of those. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.